Hi, I'm Fallon Taylor. Welcome to the Eye on Washington, the latest news on what's happening in the nation's capital. Here are the top two things you should know. On Sunday, the full U.S. Senate passed an amendment in the nature of a substitute to H.R. 5376, now known as the Inflation Reduction Act, by a 51-50 vote with Vice President Kamala Harris breaking the tie. After months of persistent NBA advocacy, this legislation incorporates language to preserve the deferred tax treatment of MSRs and excludes mortgage servicing derived income, both for residential and multifamily, from the corporate minimum book tax coverage. The House is expected to vote on the measure by the end of the week. Additionally, last Friday, NBA sent a comprehensive comment letter to the FDIC, Federal Reserve, and the OCC in response to the agency's notice of proposed rulemaking on modernizing the Community Reinvestment Act, or CRA. The nearly 700-page NPR is the first joint agency rulemaking proposing regulatory changes to CRA since 1995. NBA's letter noted several top-line issues that would be crucial to improving the current CRA framework, including providing greater clarity and consistency in the CRA's application, addressing changes in the banking industry, and creating a consistent regulatory approach that applies to banks regulated by all three agencies. For more on NBA's letter, please visit the letters and testimony page at NBA.org. That's it for this week, and thank you for watching.